Okay, today we are working on a 1994 Mazda Miata MX-5 with a 1.8 liter engine automatic transmission and we're going to be doing a test on a throttle position sensor. The throttle position sensor is located on the throttle body and it basically gives a signal to the transmission and engine control models, modules as to where you're at on the throttle. So you look at a wire diagram first. This is our throttle position sensor right here. As you can see, it's got four wires going into it. Let me explain to you what these wires do. Uh, the top wire is the green and white one, and that's the five volts going into the sensor. The second wire is a red and black, and that's going to be the signal coming out of the sensor as to where you're at on the throttle. The black and blue one is actually the ground, and the red wire is actually the cut on signal. So this sensor actually does two things. Uh, it gives a signal to the modules as to where you're at on the throttle, and it also gives a signal to the modules as to whether the throttle is open or closed. So I'll show that to you now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, your throttle position sensor is right there. This is the engine compartment, and there's your throttle position sensor. And we've tapped into all the wires on the wire diagram. The first thing you want to do is tap into your voltage wire, which I think was the... Um, the green and white wire. So I've done that already and I've got my meter set up right here and what I do is I tap into it deposit the lead right there and then I'm going to look at my meter and I'm going to go ahead and ground out the negative lead right here. And when I do that you can see that we have 5 volts reference right there. Take the ground off, put the ground back on, we got 5 volts. Okay. That's our 5 volts going in. Now the next thing I'm going to do is verify we have a ground. Okay, so the ground is on the black and blue wire, and I just took my negative lead and I tapped into the black and blue wire right there. And we have the same thing as when we went to the ground on the throttle body. We have 5 volts. So we have a good ground. So right now we're in the voltage going in on the green and white, and then we're on the ground wire. This is the black and blue. If I take it off, you can see the meter will go down. I'll put it back on and the meter goes up to 5 volts. So we have good voltage reference going in, good ground and voltage going into the sensor. Okay, so the next thing we do is we tap into our red and our red and black wire. And we do that with the positive lead of the, um, the uh, meter. I'm using a, an analog meter here because I want to watch it sweep. Uh, so we just took the positive lead off the voltage going in off the green and white wire right here and we move it to the red wire, red and black one. And now what we want to look for, this is very important, is you want to look for a nice clean sweep when you work the throttle. So I'm going to actually work the throttle. I'm going to watch this meter go up in voltage to like uh, 5 volts, wherever, wherever the reference voltage is. Then I'm going to bring it back down. Now do it very slowly. And what you want to watch for is a nice smooth sweep from low voltage to high voltage. So throttle's closed, low voltage, open it up, throttle's open right here, high voltage. Now usually what will happen if a throttle position sensor is bad is right at the very, right as you start to open the throttle because that's most of the time where you're at when you're driving a car, you're just kind of tipping into it. If you start seeing this needle jump a little bit, kind of bounce around, then you got a bad throttle position sensor. Um, and most of the time it's on the top end right there because that's mostly where you're at when you're driving it. So pay attention for that. Next thing we're going to look at here is we're going to look at the cut off, cut on, throttle cut on and cut off circuit. Okay, so for that one we're just going to take again our positive lead and we're going to move it over to that red wire. That's the bottom wire on the diagram there. And basically what that does is this, when the throttle is closed like it is now, you've got no voltage. And as soon as you crack into the voltage, boom, you got 12 volts. And that's to cut on and cut off for the throttle. So the computer sees there's no, no uh, throttle is closed. As soon as you touch it, it cuts on. Okay, so here's a picture of the throttle position sensor. That's the actual sensor right there. There's the wires going into it, and that's how to test it. 
This one's testing good. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and have a great day.